Six times at Wembley. Uh, one. Oh, they're going to. They've heard we're coming. They've heard we're coming. <laughs> Here you go. Now coming back. That's the. That's the. That's the crowd as they're walking out with the Euros in '96. <laughs> Really uncomfortable. This is not. This is not. Let's stand. Let's stand. Let's stand. So after football, what does success look like now? <sighs> success is uh, a healthy body, a healthy mind. I look after my body. I've got a, a physical program. I've got a mental and emotional program that that sets me free, and I'm able to live in this world and be a normal human being, and with all the stuff that comes with that, and and be okay with myself. I have a PT three times a week. You know, you have to look after your your physical well-being because it has oh, a sure. has a play on your mental and emotional state. So I try to remain active and, mm. and I like me tennis. I do like me tennis. I like me golf. golf. I like me golf. But there's nothing like a PT giving you a, a full good program, you know, with my my you know, my limits and my weaknesses and the periods uh, of my career that I've um, had injuries and stuff and I've got a metal knee at the moment. So, you know, to get a, a professional round to say, look, actually, do a few more of these, you know, do a few more of them, or, you know. Don't do that. that. <laughs> Don't do that, you know. Tony, would you say you look after yourself more now or would you say more back then? Yeah, no, I, I, I was very much in the physical world back in the day, you know what I mean? I, I used to like the, the, the fight, the, the challenges, the tackles of football. That was my kind of go-to thing. I, more, I struggled more with my mental and emotional stuff. You know, girlfriend leaving you, the work, you know, losing your job or something like that. It's like, oh, I can't handle this stuff, I can't handle that. So, yeah, I, I think I am more aware now than I've ever been. I'm conscious of it all now. That's the that's the great thing. Back in the day, you know, even if you told me that I was trying to do this, I wouldn't have been able to articulate that. I wouldn't have told you that I'm I'm uh, I'm suppressing my feelings in uh, training every day. You know what I mean? You know, you'd say, take a day off, Tom. Take, have a rest. You know, no, no, no. We're training. We've got to train every day. You know, and it was viewed as a kind of strength in those days. Like, look at him going through the pain. You're going to take a day off now and again. Because you come back the day after full of the strength because you've had the rest. So you've got to be aware of that. And I was just doing it to suppress my feelings back in the day. But now I don't. You know, you get aches and pains like we've been talking about. Yeah, I've got this, got that. So physically, mentally, it's got a little bit tough as well, you know. And you get into a certain age now where you're like, oh. And then we keep it all in. We don't speak about Quite it. Quite common with men. Yeah. And we keep it all in. Let's reach out for help. Let's try to do what's good for us, whether we've got a joint problem or a backache. You know, let's get some help for it. Let's start talking about it. Let's start taking action. Let's go and see a therapist, go and see your doctor, go and see these programs that are out there. I'm going to ask you one, yeah. and you can wrap it up and say thanks for that one. Yeah, yeah. So am I doing all right? Yeah, As a I'm. PT, mate, are you, are you a bit worried about me, or what, what do you think? Well, I'm gutted I didn't get the memo up. because I thought, I mean, I got a, a blue suit as well would come out and be <laughs> the <laughs> dynamic duo. But I just want to say thank you so much for this. It's been an, a real privilege to interview you. So thank you. Old start. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Have a good game, sir. <laughs> Fist pump. <laughs>